name is Kirk Martin. I'm director of the Chinese Cultural Exchange Program here at Drake, and I'm going to talk briefly today about Susan Bloom's Lies That Bind, uh, Chinese Truth, and Other Truths. Um, it's a book that I use for orientation for the participants in the Teach in China program, um, folks that may not have had any experience with China before. It's a helpful look at um, why we in the West oftentimes feel that Chinese people uh, do not uh, deal with each other in a direct manner. Oftentimes teachers, when they're over there, complain about uh, plagiarism and cheating, and it's very frustrating to them. And so, so, so taking a look at this book helps us get an understanding of sort of what our own ideas of truth is, are, and then also where Chinese notions of truth come from, and how that can be useful in personal interactions and official interactions, and also as teachers. So, um, Susan Bloom, she takes a look at notions of truth within Taoist, Buddhist, and Confucian uh, history. Oftentimes there is a, there's, a, there's a long history of praising those that are able to use their cunning as opposed to uh, use their strength in order to get what they want. And so she kind of deconstructs that and looks at how that affects um, today's notions of, of truth uh, in China. She also takes a look at how um, the importance of considering consequences of what one says, considering uh, the audience of, of who's around when one says something, um, and the idea of one not necessarily only representing themselves, but also representing a group that they come from and recognizing their, the importance of that group uh, in, in society. So oftentimes we in the West like to think about ourselves as independent actors and want to, you know, we have we have myths about people being truthful and straightforward throughout history. George Washington talking about how he's never told a lie. I doubt that's true. And so Susan Bloom also takes a look at how uh, the Chinese view the West in terms of how oftentimes our courteous talk or what we see as being uh, maintaining social norms through courteous interaction in itself is uh, can be considered dishonest and how in many ways we differ less from the Chinese than, than we think. Um, she, it's also interesting that she takes a look at sort of pre-modern China and th talks about uh, and, and language about truth, looks at revolutionary China, looks at the struggles of, uh, of the People's Republic of China and how discussions of truth and how speaking truth about others have changed and how difficult that's been. And also, I think, very convincingly um, makes it clear why a lot of people have a hard time being as direct with others uh, as we would expect oftentimes. So, um, a very interesting read. It takes a lot of good, a lot of good stories from from history of talking about the importance of of considering consequences, considering uh, relationships in one speech, and 